I recently purchased some of the items in the Stylishly Yours collection as well as the Champale collection at MAC. And so I decided to incorporate a couple of the things that I purchased in a tutorial today. I'm not going to be using everything exclusively from MAC. I'm going to be just using some drugstore things as well as some other brands with the things that I bought in my MAC haul. So you can check out the MAC haul. I did list everything in the um, bar below on that one to um, let you know exactly what I got. And I'll list in the down bar below the things that I'm using today. So I'll just get right into it. Um, I'm going to be using the paint pot from the Champagne collection in Dangerous Cuvée. So I like to use my fingers with paint pots. Uh, you can use a brush if you would like. I always have um, Corel. And so I make sure my hands are, you know, clean before I put anything into here. So anyway, I'm just going to put this all over the lid. And I already have um, my foundation and my powder on. I'll list what I used in the bar below for you. And if you've never used paint pots before from MAC, um, they're great. Um, as far as, like, a base for your eyeshadow, I love them. Uh, this one is really nice. I'm liking the color a lot. I know my camera is not the greatest. But, this is the best I could do for you to see. So, I just went ahead and put that all over my lid. And then, I'm going to be using from the Maybelline line of makeup. You can find it at any drugstore. This is Charcoal Smokes. And it's a quad. And I figured that this would be a um, nice quad to use with that kind of gray tone from the Dangerous Cuvée. So I'm just going to go ahead and take, um, I'm actually going to be using like kind of like a little chisel brush. And this is the MAC um, 214. And I'm going to be picking up, this color right here says that it's for the brow bone. And that's that light silvery color, but I'm just going to be actually using it on my lid. So you don't have to follow these um, pre-designated quads wherever it says that it needs to go you can stray away from that it's your quad you can do what you want to do with it it's all right so I just went ahead and placed some of that um, bright silver one all over the lid and I'm going to be taking a crease brush I'm going to be using my MAC 217 and I'm going to take this top one that actually says it's for the lid and I'm going to be using that for the inner part of my crease. So kind of like the first half of my crease. I'm just going to blend it towards the bottom third of my crease. And what's nice is for me, I love, you know, MAC and, um, you know, other things from Sephora that are a lot pricier than drugstore but to be honest with you I like to stretch those items and a good way of doing that is buying really great quality things from the drugstore like these Maybelline quads I probably have like eight different colors maybe I lied maybe I have like five but I love them the quality is good the, the blendability is great um the next one that I'm going to be using says that it's the actual crease color. It's this darker one right here. And I'm going to be using my MAC 275 brush. It just looks like that's an angled shader brush. I'm going to be taking that color and I'm just going to be darkening that second half of the lid. Let me get close so you can see somewhat see what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of smoking it out. There we go. <clears throat> then I'm going to take a pencil brush. It's the MAC 219. It looks like this. I'm going to take that black color, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go overboard with this. It's the middle of the day and I'm doing a black eyeshadow. Sorry. Being very theatrical this morning. Not sure why. 
but yeah, I just want to kind of um, place some of this in the outer corner of my eye just to kind of deepen the look <clears throat> and add a little bit more dimension. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's bothering me. And I'm actually going to take it and create that V, kind of blend it against my lash line a little. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. Let me get a close up for you. So as you can see, I just kind of blended all those gray colors using the quad. And that was the uh, charcoal smokes. And that dangerous cuvee really helped um, to give it that silvery kind of gray tone. So that was a great base to pair with that. I'm just going to go ahead and um, line the eye now with, I have, this is like old, I love using up my things, this is almost out, so that way I have the excuse of going to buy another black eyeliner, but this is from um, Bare Essentials, it's their Buxom liner, and I love Bare Essentials. I have, I don't think I've ever like lined my eye using a camera screen before. So props to all you gurus out there that are like so used to doing these things. You make it look so easy, but uh, it's not. So anyway, I just winged out um, the liner just a little. And I'm going to go ahead and um, line my waterline. Thanks for bearing with me. I'm so new at making these videos. I know it's not like the best, but um, thank you for your support. Just wanted to say that. This was from the Champagne collection, and it's I Get No Kick. I said it was I Get On Kick in my haul video, but uh, one of you lovely people corrected me, and I thank you so much because I think I was like delirious. Anyway, I just want to pop this in that inner corner of my eye. See how it kind of I mean, you can kind of smooth it out, blend it in with your hand, but see how it really, like, brightens the tear duct? I love that. I love that color. Let me swatch it for you in back one more time. Can you see that kind of champagne-y color? I like mixing, um, you know, I like mixing gold and champagne with silvery and gray. I don't know. I That's, that's a look that I like a lot. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use step one of my double extend L'Oreal. And this is, I don't know if these are limited. This was in a drugstore haul that I'm having a giveaway with. So you can check out that video. But I'm just going to use step one because step one is already um, colored. And step two is kind of like this telescopic looking mascara, which I usually use step two as well but I don't have um, a really long time allotted for me to video record these so I just did step one I just did it on the upper lash I'm gonna do my lip right now I'm in love with this color that I showed you in my haul this was from the stylishly yours collection it's in something new and it's a really bright fuchsia lip look at that I love it it goes on so smooth it's amplified there's just something sexy about doing like a really gray smoky eye and a really bright fuchsia lip. So I'm just going to take some of that Cheche La May. I'm going to actually use my fingers because I like to use my fingers. I think fingers are great tools. And as long as your fingers are clean, there should be no problem with you using it to put something on your face. So I'm just going to highlight. Sorry, I know the camera's not the greatest highlight. Take my NARS, my dirty old NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm taking a big fluff brush and I'm just going to actually, I'm not contouring. I'm just going to like, just do a big old three on my face. Just to kind of give it that little pop. <clears throat> to set my makeup, I am loving this Josie Moran. It's their Argan Primer Mist. 
I just spritz to kind of set everything. And there's the finished look. Hope you enjoyed.